I think it's a wonderful place to be, um, and I just think that because we're at a portion of the world where there is a shift from traditional fossil fuels over to renewables, this is kind of the place to hold a conference like this. Three years ago, we saw hydrogen as a good option for zero emission transport, and look what's happening now. Everybody's talking about hydrogen. Setting ambitious goals is the way to achieve them. This is not a state-led solution, nor is it a private-led solution. Uh, the energy transition forces us um, into deep collaboration. It is the only way to allow investment to take place. I'm really encouraged to see so many of the key energy players in attendance at the conference, and specifically if the, we can increase the demand on hydrogen as a fuel source to be able to power um, a grid, we can actually reduce the cost of the technologies involved. We need to talk to all stakeholders covering the whole value chain but also to the politicians in order to say, look, please support that with policies, with regulations, so that we all go into the same direction. There is no choice. And to achieve full decarbonisation by 2050, we need to act now. We have no time to lose. If you look at, uh, look at the time, for us as grid operators, a, a decade ahead is, is tomorrow. The most important thing is what happens in the next three years and I think we should see the first gigawatt green hydrogen plant starting construction. Exciting is the development of electrolysis technology. We have a huge scale up in power in recent years from the megawatt scale up to the 10 to the 100 megawatt scale that is discussed right now and there are future projects planned and announced at the moment to go to the gigawatt and even 10 gigawatt scale. When in events like this, we meet new people uh, and also to advance conversations between the government agencies, the policy makers from around the world and also from the gas suppliers. The event has been a really nice uh, group of people coming together, really experts from around the world and I really enjoyed the level of interaction, informal and very open. We are at a moment where these types of events are crucial because we need a, a permanent dialogue between industrial players and governments and this is an excellent example of it. So congratulations and keep up with the good work.